the silent depression. Before I begin, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rachahakudash. Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and the true name for His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, whose true, which this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Baha Shem is in the name, and Rechah HaKudash is through the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Uh, back again with another lesson, Lord willing, it is edifying. And again, the title of this lesson is The Silent Depression, aka Babylon is Fallen. Babylon the Great is Fallen. And um, this is an article that I got. It's, it's from uh, tribeonline.com. And again, the title of the article is The Silent Depression. All right. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of um, on point, you know, topics. It's a lot of on point points that were made. And I just want to, you know, line it up with, you know, biblical prophecy. All right. Because it's been prophesied. In the Holy Scriptures, that Babylon the Great, which is America, you know, would fall, just like many other great empires before it fell, the same thing would happen unto her. All right, so you know, not gonna ramble too much, but get a few scriptures, and now it'll be the lesson. All right, so it says in the current economy of 2023, Americans are experiencing higher cost of living expenses and lower wages than the height of the Great Depression in 1930. And, you know, especially brothers, you know, we all point, pointed that out, man. You know, prices is rising and our wages are cut, you know, our wages are cut, uh, you know, diminishing, uh, you know, little by little, okay? And, you know, let's first begin with the scripture in the book of Jeremiah. Okay, because it says that the Lord was sent fanners, you know, and those fanners are what you are seeing right now. Okay, let's, so let's get it. So this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51. And let's start at the top, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 1. And it reads, thus said the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon. Okay. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Okay, and that destroying wind is speaking about the missiles, man. The ICBM nuclear missiles which rain upon this place, man. Our 200, uh, 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles are going to rain upon Babylon. That is that destroying wind. And if you want to get a further, um, another precept that backs this up is the book of Revelation. All right, Revelation, the seventh chapter, okay? And let's go into it, Revelation, the seventh chapter, okay? Let's start at the top, Revelation chapter seven, verse one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, whole holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascend, uh, ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. You see? So, again, you got angels, you know, holding back the destruction. Okay? All right? Until the elect is sealed. And it says, verse 3, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their forehead you see so that when again is speaking about the destruction is so powerful okay that the angels are what the angels are holding back okay until the elect is what they are holding back until the elect is sealed okay so that's just a precept that's just a precept lining that up. All right, backing that up. So let's go back to Jeremiah chapter 51 and let's go to verse 2. 
and will send unto Babylon fanners. And this is speaking about this Babylon, Babylon the Great, okay? And again, those fanners are what? Those fanners are what you see right now, okay? That's 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 making this place desolate, man. All right, that's destroying the economy, okay? Inflation, soon to be hyperinflation. Hey, those are those fanners, okay? And it's going to get worse. And it says, that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about, right? You know, and that's speaking about these different nations, okay? What does it say in the book of Joel? It says, let the weak say, I am strong. It also speaks about how the beast shall hate the whore. All right, so all these um, countries are going to come against this place, man. And this is biblical prophecy, man. Whether these people believe it or not, hey, the, and it is the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is America, is inevitable, man. It's going to happen, okay? So it says, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. And that's speaking about what? That's speaking about these other different nations that have nuclear power. You have Iran. Uh, North Korea, South Korea, China, Russia, okay? Um, if I'm missing any, uh, add them in the comments, okay? And it says, and against him that lifted himself in the brain of God, and spare ye not her young men, destroy, destroy ye, destroy ye utterly all her hosts, you know? So again, that's just to show you, all right? That's just to show you what? That a hey, the heavenly father who this world ignorantly calls God, whose true name is Yahweh, in the name of in the name of his only begotten son whose true name is Yahweh Shah is against this place man okay is against Babylon the great all right so let's go back onto this article okay and it says um not only we are fighting not only are we fighting our way through a recession but we are fighting silently as these statistics are dismissed by politicians in mainstream media outlets, man. And I think that's a beautiful title, bro, or a beautiful way to put it, you know, the silent depression, all right? And the reason why I think, you know, it's a beautiful, you know, the reason why I think it's beautiful, the silent depression, because, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, you know, again, all these things are happening in this country, yet nobody's speaking out against it, man. You know, and the Lord is allowing, you know, for it to be silent, you know. And when you really think about that, man, that's powerful, you know, because everybody knows, everybody feels it. Everybody know, you can feel what's going on. Everybody pockets know what's going on. But, you know, everybody's silent. And that's what the Lord is doing. All right, he's bringing, he's bringing um, plays again as a, you know, as the Egypt of old, as it says in 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter. You know, the Lord is plaguing this place, okay? And it says, it has been, it, it, it has since been coined a silent depression. For those who are uh, skeptical, skeptical, the following statistics are all Googleable information that forms the foundation for the growing outrage on social media. In 1930, the average, you know, and it's going to go, you know, into the statistics and it's going to go into you know, how much food costs or how much rent costs and the cost of living. All right, but if you have eyes to see, you know, or, you know, if you work in a job or if you have a family, you could obviously feel what's going on in this country, man. And it's only going to get worse. You know, please don't believe that it's going to get better. It's going to get worse, man. All right, America is going to go through something that has never went through before, okay? And that's... um hence the time of jacob's trouble the time of all-out chaos man you know that's what's coming onto these streets you know that's what's coming onto babylon the great all right that's what's coming to this place man as it was added as it is written in second Ezra the eighth chapter let's get it okay see what you're gonna see in this place all right it's all just gonna be judgment for how a lot of, you know, for all the wickedness that has been done unto this place, man. Especially unto the children of Israel. Let's go to the book of 2nd Ezra, the 8th chapter. 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 50. And it reads, it says, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. And we are in the latter time. Okay? This is the, you know, as you may say, this is the end of this world. 
Okay, but the Lord has to give you spiritual eyes to see it. Okay, because everybody can't see what's going on. That's why it's the silent depression. Okay, and it says, because they have walked in great pride. So many great miseries are going to happen in this planet. Uh, many great miseries are happening all right, in the planet Earth. Why? Because for many have walked in great pride, man. You know, just think about the pride. A lot of these Babylonians, a.k.a. Americans, walk in great pride, man. So that's what you see. That's why you see what's going on, man. Okay? And again, it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse, man. Okay? Hence the time of Jacob's trouble. A time like never before since there was a nation. Read Daniel the 12th chapter, Matthew the 24th chapter, man. You know, you got a picture in a time worse than slavery. And that's the time that we're coming into, man. Where the people don't believe it. Hey, this is the times that we're in. Okay, and the Lord has his men, all right, warning, okay, really the elect. You know, those, uh, what does it say, bid them to the marriage, those that are lost. You know, the Lord has his men out here for the elect. And then again, once the elect is sealed, the destruction is going to happen, man. Okay, and before the destruction happens, Babylon the Great is going to be a. Hey, it's going to be. It's going to be destroyed, brick by brick, and that's what you see here. That's why it says, uh, "For we have, for we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her," and that's speaking to our people, man. Forsake her spiritually, man. Come out of, come spiritually, come out of this place, man, and return back to your power source. Again, the true name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, meaning He is, He exists. And the true name for His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah, meaning He says He delivers, man. Okay? And we got to return back to our power because as it is written in Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the 10th verse, it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and are safe. So we have to have the, the we have to have the correct names of our power, okay? So I feel like I'm rambling, but let's get back. Um, let's go. Let's go back to the article. Let's see if they have a little bit, you know. Okay. All right, and it says the silent depression needs to be acknowledged and properly addressed. Inflation and price hikes are not costing the politicians and legislators. They are costing the middle and lower class American people. And what's the reason to this, man? The reason to this is the karagma, all right, where the elite bacon families are going to come or try to push their NWO and have everybody electronically tagged, man, all right, by receiving a mark, okay? In the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse, it speaks about the mark of the beast, man. And that word mark, okay, again, when you look into that word mark in the Greek, it means karagma, all right, meaning the incision of the flesh, meaning something being put inside of you, okay? And we had, and the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, as, as well as Brothers Down, have went into this plenty of times, man, okay? And there's many articles, there's many resources backing this up, man. All right, you got to do your research on WEF, which means the World Economic Forum, as well as different whistleblowers man you know going into what the MOTB is man nevertheless you know this is going to be a reality very very soon man and again Yahabah Shemal Shah has has his men uh, which are the, the true weathermen spiritual weathermen okay giving you the report you know as it is written in Matthew the 16th chapter you know oh ye hypocrites how can you discern the signs but you, how can you discern the sky and you cannot discern the times, all right? So, you know, I didn't really mean to ramble, but I just wanted to bring this lesson out, you know, because that term silent depression, you know, it just caught my eye. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm sure brothers made lessons on this already. But again, hey, we are in the silent depression, and the Lord it has these people mouth shut, you know. they just going through it. they just taking it. The Lord is allowing them to take it, you know. You got to pay high rent. You got to pay high bills, high food, high water. And it's going to get to the point where the economic, the, uh, the economic monetary system is going to collapse. I.e., hence them, them coming with a new thing. Okay. And that new thing being the electronic, um, 
the the, the CBDC digital, all right, which is the Karagma, okay? And when that Karagma is fully mandatory, that's when we know Yahweh Shah is going to be on the way soon, man. So, hey, man, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the next time. You know, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honest to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that grew up. Peace and blessing to the elect. Till next time, shalom and a blah, blah, blah.